Hiring new staff is really risky for businesses. I know when you uh, look from the perspective of a potential job seeker yourself, thinking about job hunting, shoe cuts are in front of you. It seems to be an intimidating process where the big companies have all the power. Keep in mind though that from the company's perspective, what they deeply fear is that uh, they will get someone who's going to be problematic and bluntly speaking, they can't get rid of them relatively easily. There's a more fundamental problem for companies in that uh, very often they attract good people who work with them. They're delighted that they hired these good people. But then those folks up and leave. They go and sell their skills, their experience, their talents, their potential to another employer. Of course, those employees who don't work out so well, uh, who ultimately have troubles in Tenshoku, in transferring to another place, tend to stay. So unfortunately, the dynamic for companies is very often a negative one, that uh, you get good employees, keep them for, you for a few years, and then are in danger of losing them. Whereas the employees that don't work out well tend to stay. So you get someone good, they leave after a few years. You get someone poor, they never leave. So companies are inherently worried about this. Also, very importantly, those people charged with the duty of hiring in a company in personnel departments and in people who are co-opted, temporarily borrowed from various parts of the organization to assist with hiring, are really worried about the heavy responsibility they have. So they're going to be conservative in their choices. They're going to be very much looking towards justifying the appointment decisions. So when you're job hunting, of course, if you're a graduate from a good university, let's say Waseda's a good university, okay, uh, you have the status of being a Waseda graduate, that's going to help. If you've got documented evidence of various other activities, entertainments, qualifications, various things that you've done, then all of those things help to justify the decision of people making the hiring inside the company as to why they hired this person rather than somebody else, especially when the new hire doesn't work out. So it's about, to some degree, ticking boxes. So invariably you have to go along with these kind of processes. Of course you, you come with the, uh, the supposed certification of being a graduate from a good university. But those other things, those uh, aptitude tests, basic skills tests, which are run normally by third party companies these days, but we know are, we know are regularly uh, abusable. Um, we don't even know who takes the tests or whether people take them together or whether they find the answers for tests online. Companies sometimes use their own in-house tests to try and overcome that, but then there are some basic quality issues with those tests. So in general, there are filter processes, especially in the Japanese case, when you've got this intense season of shukatsu, where large numbers, of people, large numbers of people are applying. So at the early stages, the companies, the personnel departments are effectively applying a filter to try and just filter out applicants to get them down to a manageable number. Then it comes down to more personal judgments. And a couple of really basic points here. Uh, that you should always bear in mind when you're going into a job interview. First of all, you have to demonstrate that you're going to be adding value to the company, that uh, you have the potential to develop skills and already have skills that will add more value to the company than the company will have in costs associated with employing you. No one has a right to a job at a particular company. Of course, you have to bring value to the organization in order for the organization to feel happy with its decision to enter into a contractual relationship with you to keep paying you money. But ultimately the most important thing at the job interview stage is actually just simply presenting yourself as a potentially nice colleague. A key criteria for anyone who's interviewing potential candidates is to think, would I like to have this person working with me, for me, typically if it's a more, a more senior person. Do I want this person as a colleague and this company which I'm committed to working for and particularly if they work for a long time with a company, which is a part of my identity, do I want this person to work for the same organization? Would I be proud of the fact that I work for this company that also hires someone like this? And day to day, do I just want to sit next to this person, for example, in an open plan office? 
So that's one reason why Japanese companies give a lot of attention to those other things, those extra extracurricular things that students have been doing while they were, while they were students. Uh, to try and get a sense of their social skills, their general motivation, their responsibility, their ability and desire to get on with other people. And of course some basic things like perseverance and whatnot, all of those things that we understand. So to recap, ultimately you have to be able to demonstrate your value proposition and in some respects your distinct value proposition because you're up against competition for others to get the job, particularly as Shinsotsu, as a new graduate. Um, and you have to demonstrate that you would be a nice person to, uh, to work with. And at the end of the day, recognize that people making hiring decisions are actually rather nervous about whether they're getting the very best people that they can. One final concluding point, I've been told by several people senior in hiring in Japanese companies that they, have, they all have a similar nightmare scenario. They fear that at the naiteishiki, at the ceremony where the naite, the, uh, the job offer before the official job offer, as you know, is, is given to employees and the president, the CEO is there and other senior executives, they live in fear that absolutely nobody turns up that the Naitesha Udu Dotaka, who just suddenly failed to turn up. So they're looking on the one hand for people who seem to be genuinely interested and committed in working for the company, keeping in mind that adverse selection problem of those who are too eager may not be the very best people to hire. You want people who have other options, who are in demand elsewhere. At the same time, uh, you have to make sure that uh, you've got people who are going to really turn up uh, be there and be good employees so that the HR department, the Jinji, the people doing the hiring, uh, their own reputation is enhanced rather than diminished amongst the senior managers in the firm.